Greetings and salutations, YouTube family and friends. t Vlogs here. What's up, guys? So today, I'd like to go back and elaborate a little bit on something I told you guys in my intro video. That being, one of my hobbies is that I'm a costumer. So I'd like to go back and explain a little bit about how I got involved in it, why I do it, and what it means to me. So sit back and we'll have a little discussion about it. So I belong to a community called the Cosplay Community, which is short for Costume Play. Costume, of course, being dressing up as a specific character from a television show, cartoon, video game, comic book, you name it. If there's a fandom of it and there's characters, people will dress up as it. And play comes in with a lot of the times the costumers will play out what the character does or says to kind of make it a more genuine experience, to make them seem more like the character. Now that's all well and good. I gave you an explanation of terms and the official mumbo jumbo, but why? Why do I do it? Let me answer that by asking another question. Why do super fans of, say, American football teams go to the stadiums of their home teams with their faces painted and in the interesting get-ups that they wear, sometimes shirtless in zero-degree weather, just to show their passion for their team? Well, there's kind of your answer right there. They're showing their passion for their fandom. They love their team so much, so they choose to express themselves in that way. That's pretty much what we're doing. We are expressing our passion for whatever it is we're fans of. Be it sci-fi, comics, video games, Japanese cartoons, you name it. That's the way that we show our fandom, is by dressing up as these characters. I remember I got started in the cosplay community because I was a fan of the Japanese cartoons. I had looked up conventions around the country and I had seen that this cosplay thing was very real and going to my first convention I saw tons of people dressing up in these character costumes and having fun with it so I said you know what I think I need to try that so I did and ever since then I've been a Buddhist monk from feudal era Japan I've been a 300 plus year old demon disguised as a human healing himself in the human world. I've been a part cat, part human thief, original character by the way. I've been a skunk, another original character, and soon I'm going to be doing a toad captain from an old 1990s cartoon. So I've got a little bit of experience under my belt and I plan to do more in the future. Now on to the main reason why I do this particular thing. And this is a cosplayer's secret, so for anybody who's not into the whole community, you're about to be let in on something very important. The number one reason why I costume and go to all these conventions and do what I do is because... <laughs> it's fun! I mean, it is a legitimate blast for me to be able to dress up as these characters and go to conventions and just mess around with other fans. Going to conventions, you can have usually one of two experiences. The first one is, you go in your street clothes, and you show up, and you're taking in the experience, taking in the environment, seeing what there is to see. Now if you go to the convention in costume, you are the experience. You are part of that convention, and as much as you may or may not like to admit it, you may just influence somebody while you're there. Case in point. You go to a comic book convention and you see this awesome Superman walk by. And you know, he's got everything right. The suit looks like he came straight out of the comic book or the movie or whatever. His hair's got that nice little curl to it that Superman's always got. His physique is perfect and you just almost expect him to jump up in the air and fly away because he's the man of steel, right? I'll bet you when you come home from that convention, one of the fond memories you're going to have when you look back on it is Remember that awesome Superman that was there? Wasn't he just cool? So the principle is kind of the same. I like to be a part of the experience so I can hopefully give somebody a positive memory to look back on and smile when they think about the time that they had that weekend or at that particular convention. So to recap, the reason I do it is to show my fandom for whatever particular fandom I'm following at the time. Uh, usually Japanese cartoons, it could be video games, comic books, what have you. And the most important reason 
because it's fun. So hopefully this gave you guys a little bit of insight as to one of my kooky hobbies, why I do what I do and how I do what I do. So to my cosplay friends and family out there, leave me a little comment down below telling me what costumes you've done in the past, what costumes you're currently doing, and what costumes you plan to do in the future. Also maybe tell me what conventions you're going to hit up so I know when to run into you. And for all of my subscribers and followers who aren't in the cosplay community, and you're curious about more of the culture and maybe some of the more finer details about the cosplay community or the fandoms I'm part of in general or whatever else, maybe you have some questions. I would love to hear those questions, again, down below in the comments. Don't be shy. If you have any questions about my costuming hobby, please let me know. I would love to make a future video of nothing but answers to the questions that people have about why I do what I do or so on and so forth. So I really want to make this interactive. So cosplay family, tell me about your costumes. People who aren't in the costume community, give me your questions. I would love to enlighten you on the cosplay phenomenon. Right now somebody is going, doo -doo 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 -doo. you know who you are. So that's it for me this time, guys. Hopefully I'll get to see some of your questions and hear some of your comments in this video and we'll get to carry on the discussion further. So until next time, talk to you soon and take care. Bye-bye.